came from Jamaica less than two years ago and attended Central Dolphin High School, but unfortunately, his new journey took a turn for the worse. I never heard of nothing negative about myself. And I don't know where this came from. Johnson spoke with pride about his son, describing Justin as a smart, quiet child who always wore a smile on his face. And he was also passionate about football, fitness, and education. There's two things that when I come home in the evening, I can hear about is what he did in the gym or Miss Lavada, his teacher. Those two things, I'll hear that going into my bed. He just never stopped talking about those two things. A harsh reality for the family as they navigate through life without their son by their side. Remember I can't Justin. continue without Justin. That's just, I just don't know how to survive without Justin. You just heard the painful, painful words of a father who lost his son to three thug like animals who mercilessly chased him down and hunted down like just his animal. I don't understand what the deal is. All I'm going to say, those three thugs, their parents failed them. I don't know what's going on with that school, but apparently the school failed them. That's why they behave like three racist animals. These three thug, thug-like animals should not be sent to juvie. No, no. Send them to prison. Give them a taste of what life really would be like behind the bars of some very dangerous prisons to see what their life would be like for the next 10, 20 years. So don't send them to juvie, send them to prison, give them a taste, what a waste them in the future. All I gotta say, may the Lord have mercy on your souls for what you've done to the innocent young man known as Justin Johnson.